Hi guys, Larissa here with Newton Nooks Designs and I wanted to share with you how I created this really fun Father's Day coupon book using the Newton Nooks Design May release. We've created some fun little watercolor frames using the frame from the new Around the House stamp set along with several of the other images from the set. And then we're also going to use some of the images from the stamp set that's being released today, Winston's Barbecue. And I wanted to share with you that you can use both of these sets together to create a really fun coupon book. I'm using Simon Says Stamp white watercolor paper and I've just die cut it with the tag my favorite things tag pierce tag die and I have done seven pages in this book but you can use any the amount of number that you want I'm also going to be working with paper tray inks die inks and I've used the several different colors here for the video today I'm going to showcase the blueberry sky and the ocean tides and you could use uh, distress inks with this as well these distress inks react with water in a similar way so using this for the watercolor technique is a really fun just gives it a really fun look so we're going to take our frame and I like to work on a Fisker's stamp press and I'm going to ink up the frame using the Blueberry Sky ink. And for this, it really is important to use watercolor paper. If you're going after the watercolor look, you can probably try this on cardstock and get a similar effect. It won't be quite as good as this, but um, if you don't have watercolor paper, you could, give, you could also try this with regular cardstock. So once I have this all inked up, I'm just going to take one of my tag images and line it up. And this really does fit this tag shape pretty much right on. It has just a teeny little border on it. So this is the perfect shape for this stamp. And we're just going to make our image and then you're also going to want just a little brush with some water. And I'm just going to use one of my favorite Castell brushes and I've just added water to it. And you're just going to go right over your framed image with the water to create a really fun, you can see the water moving already. And then you're going to go on the inside and just pull some of that water on the inside of the frame just to give a nice backdrop for the color to go so that the frame looks like it's been colored in. And then if you don't want to leave this part plain, you can go ahead and run your water across the tip of your tag as well. So we're just going to set this aside to dry and we're going to take our next color, which is the Ocean Tides. And we're just going to repeat the process. We're going to stamp up our image with the ink. And then we'll line it up on our tag. And we'll stamp it down. And I think projects like this for dad are so fun. Just something nice and easy simple but something that the father can appreciate something special and again we're just going to take our water brush and run over all of the edges using the water brush and you can be as neat or as messy as you want depending on the watercolor look that you're going after but this water really does make the ink move and I just like the look I think it's so neat and then for the next step you want to make sure that your tags are dry so we're just going to heat these up really fast and dry these before we add any more stamping otherwise our stamping would bleed 
and we don't want any bleeding. I love the look of the watercolor paper, depending on how thick of a paper that you get. There's less textured paper and for some reason, the Simon Says Stamp watercolor paper just has a really nice finish to the top of it. Um, it just works really well with stamping. So there you can see the fun effect that we get with the watercolor. I just love how neat that is. So we're going to take the images from the stamp set. And on my little book, you can see I've paper pieced the Winston and added the Happy Father's Day up above. And then on the first page, I thought it would be fun to add a picture. And that's my dad. And add the stamping along the edge. And then I've created a page with the grandkids. And then I've added a couple pages with the grill and some other things to give for my dad to redeem for his favorite meals. And so we like to take him meals. And then on the end, the last page, I've used a set from the Mother's Day release that was released uh, last month, the Love Grows. And I just thought it worked perfect here, but I've used the hammer with the single nail going into the heart down below. And then I put, bam, love ya. So you can create these pages and personalize them any way that you would like, but I thought it would be fun to add the little arrow and we'll do the picture perfect again. So we'll take our book and we'll just add the arrow up in the right hand corner. And for this one, I wanted to do the outline arrow and I thought it would be fun to bring in some of that color from the ocean tide with the outline of the arrow. So we'll bring this in and stamp around the outline of that. I just think that's such a fun added touch. And then we'll do the picture perfect again. And I'm just using a black ink here. VersaFine ink is my favorite. We'll line that up and stamp that down. And then for the last page, we'll create the hammer page for the BAM Love You. And first we're going to stamp the little nail images, the grouping of the nails. And then we're going to add the single little nail. And I thought I would add a difference in the colors of the ink this time, just for a more visually, so that it looks more like you're hammering through that heart with the other nail. And then we'll take our hammer here and add that to the image here. And you can paper piece this if you want or leave it the way it is. And then we'll do the BAM. And then for those of you that don't remember, this is the Love Grows, the Mother's Day stamp set. And we're just going to use the Love You from this little set. And I've talked about masking. So I wanted to share with you how I masked this image. And I just like to take a piece of scratch paper and I'm gonna line it up on the U and just cover that and then I'm going to take my ink pad and ink up the love and then I'm going to remove this paper and then line this up 
making sure I don't have any black ink on that U. And we'll stamp that down. And then we'll do the same for the love. We're going to cover that up with our mask here. And then we're going to ink up the U. And we'll stamp that down. And there we have our fun pages that you can create an awesome Father's Day coupon book with using the new May release and some of your other Newton Nook stamps for a really fun Father's Day coupon book. And the watercolor look I think on these frames just adds such a fun touch and you can really have fun experimenting with all of the colors in your collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and you'll check out the blog Newton Nooks Designs for more inspiration and thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.